Legend of Total War here with part 183, I think, of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously, we conquered Avaricum and Siga over here. So things went pretty well. Um, I think the settlement's around over there, but I, I can't remember. I'm just going to stay close to the coast. Um, constructed the wrong building here. Need to do with that. Okay, now here's the thing. This, this level 3 colony here is damaged, right? So, let's have a look. People have been saying that, I, you know, we're, we're criticizing at the beginning of the campaign, saying, oh, uh, campaign saying that I was leaving the settlement governments damaged and that was causing unrest. Well, there's an easy way to check if that's true or not. Now, if it truly does cause unrest, that means it would cause unrest in every single situation for it. So, here's a little bit of a control test. Now, this unrest is at 55%. It will go down to 50% naturally next turn. If I repair this, okay, according to what other people say, it should go down even further. Now, if it doesn't, it means it's bullshit. We also need to destroy this stuff here. It's good settlement. Too bad we didn't get a chance to enslave it. Alright, now, over here, the public order is absolutely insane. Don't build that. Build this. Because we need to get recruiting. Now, tell this guy to fuck get off. Destroy them. Victory and honor. Mm, something you might send on the road. Okay, so, I'd like to keep moving because the public order is so good. Maybe we can just keep going. So Warnet. let's, let's see. Now, I'm thinking... I could go to Bibracte or I could go to Senebum. That's a large city. I think that's a large city as well. Senebum has a smaller garrison, so I'd rather deal with that. And, um... Because walled settlements, as in stone walls, they can be a bit of a pain in the ass. So, I'd, yeah, I'd rather do that that way. You come here, then let's organize this. The public order's good. Now it's going to shit. Alright. If we can... Jump that up. Let's see if we can get the last of my guys out. Good. No mercenaries here. But it's under control. Alright, we'll have to fight this. Northern Gallic Swordsman. Unfortunately, this is in a forest. So, as you guys know, I absolutely hate fighting in forests. Hopefully it's not too thick. Because the thing is, it's completely in the AI's advantage to fight in the in the forest. I mean, I've already explained it. Okay, it's not too bad. The forest is just in our starting position, which means we can run out of it. Okay, I don't feel like I need these guys. They can just stay in the forest and just stay out of my way. Okay, start shooting them immediately then. If you can wipe them out before they get close, that would be awesome. It's good they're only sending one to begin with. So hopefully we can wipe it out and then deal with the next one. And that is absolutely wrecking them. It's all thanks to their experience, because these aren't exactly like completely unarmored units. That's it, turn around, that's perfect. Now they're really going to get hit. I guess they're like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Can't retreat, you've already withdrawn once. Excuse me. A little bit yawny. Alright, well if they're just gonna... Just gonna stand there and take it like a bitch, I'm more than happy to dish it out to them like a bitch. Well then, no losses. That is a perfect result. Victory and honor! Orders. 
Okay then, they need to get over there. Who's got the most movement? Okay, let's try you go over there first. Hang on. Can you possibly open the gates? Now I don't want you to open the gates, I'm just wondering. No, you can't. What means they've got like a general or a spy in there? I can't see what's in there. Maybe I should bring the spy over here just so I can have a look. Can't tell. Hang on, if I can just get him to like move like halfway there. Stop there. Juridic heavy infantry, and that's probably a general. Whatever I can deal with it. Alright, everything seems to be going really well. I've already built shit, haven't I? Yeah. I'll send someone to go kill them soon enough. Okay, so this region here, we can't recruit here, can we? No. Um, I guess these guys here should go and occupy that, and then... The thing is that the public order is absolutely shit. Even with him in there. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to leave here anytime soon. Ships ready. Ships ready. So you're coming all the way back here for retraining. And these guys going all the way up here. It's going to take fucking forever. Okay, good. They've been retrained. And they're on their way. And this guy's a shithead. Let's go out there and build watchtowers. Now, I could probably afford... No, I don't think I will get another, another horse stack. So, we've got 173 settlements. That means there is 26 left to go. Good. Today is May 6th for me. So, you know. Okay, I don't see anything else that needs to be done. I don't think there's anyone that needs to be retrained or anything like that. That reminds me, these guys are supposed to be on their way. Ready to sail. Set sail. I'll send them all back that way together. And there's a cav unit over here who's meant to... I don't know. Get his way back. He's been walking for a long time. And these here. Always forget about them. They've got to encamp every single season or else he'll get very sick. So they're building up quite a large force there. But it's, it's a large force of garbage. Are they going to make this attack or not? Probably. Let's hope we can repel them. Let's move on to the next turn. Fucking idiots. I mean, I'm happy for, to do this, but... Fucking morons, I, I would have done much worse if I had assaulted. So I got no problem with this, let's do it. And the thing is though, if we if we take the settlement, right? Next turn, right, it's technically we've had it for a turn, and it reduces the unrest by 5%. So it means we can leave sooner rather than later by doing this. I mean, we're not constructing anything, obviously, but... That's alright. Okay, keep these guys out of it. We don't need them. Okay, where are they coming from? Um, over this way, I think. It's in the reinforcements. Keep these guys out of it. I don't think I need them for this battle. That's the thing. Those are probably more expensive than all the other units combined. 
but they are sort of like trump cards used for the toughest of battles. If you manage to kill the general, use these guys and they will pretty much guarantee you victory. Almost straight away. Okay, let's reform. The reinforcements are on the way. You guys will need to kill the enemy general. I don't mind if it's not 100% efficient. I mean, we're kind of already in range here. It's fine. I have to keep my cavalry together. They're stronger together than they are apart. I know technically you're supposed to put them on either flank, flank but I don't have enough cavalry for that. Better to have one strong flank, I think, than two weak ones. Especially when the enemy doesn't even have any cavalry. Okay, these druidic heavy infantry, right? What's their armor rating? 13. We should be targeting units that don't have much armor. Or maybe we should be targeting units with armor. Yeah, shoot them. Because that, that's like some really good units of theirs. Then again, they do so much more damage to the Northern Gallic Swordsmen. That actually wasn't too bad. Okay. Run back. Better blade listen to me, if you want to live. Pikes down. Now you guys just wait for the enemy general to show up now. What are they doing? Oh, they're just going to use up their jabs. That's okay. They're not going to get many kills. Well, this is kind of silly. Let's do something to stop this. Alright, you come over here. And then shoot over their heads and hit this fucker over this way. Well, if he just wants to sit there and cop a sweet, then that's fine with me. So from the angle they're shooting at, they shouldn't be shooting their arrow troops. I guess they're maybe just waiting for these guys to show up. Okay, he's running out of ammo, so sort of zoned out a little bit there. What are we doing about him? Ha, <laughs> good. They came in. They're not going to be able to get much done. Taunting her. 
It's not gonna help him. I don't think. I think it just gives him extra morale. Come a bit more over this side here, because we need to shoot. Yeah, shoot him. Get a little bit closer. See, they, they can't get through. They're gonna get fucked up. How's this going? Yeah, killing a couple of them. That's good. So they're just gonna taunt. Fine with me, that gives me time to get rid of this motherfucker, and then we'll get rid of them later. I've got a feeling that this guy's dying from my own shots rather than the enemy. Well, maybe they are getting through, who knows. about him. Okay. Now, stop and shoot. Shoot. Shoot him. Okay, because we thinned him out so much, he's not going to get through now. He might kill a few of my guys, but he's not getting through. I see what you're doing, but it's not going to work. I'm going to chase after you now. Make sure he dies. Don't let him get away. I think that's their whole army now. This is the last last bit of it. Make sure this guy here gets wiped out, then we get the city. You know, we gotta get rid of the other motherfuckers as well. Because otherwise, well, I have to fight in the middle of the day. That should be enough from this army. Maybe you just continue dealing with it. But that went really well. I don't think we lost much at all. Would we lose, like, yeah, 1%? It's nothing. Because they had some pretty decent units here. Just not enough of them. And they pissed, for, pissed them away at the beginning there. I mean, they were never going to win, but they could have done more damage to me. Alright, that'll do. If we haven't destroyed the other army, it doesn't matter. But they're dead. Good, another settlement for me. That'll bring me to 174. There's almost no way that this series is not going to reach 200 episodes. It'll be the first one to reach that much. In fact, it's already the longest series I've ever done. Good stuff. Okay, public order out of Arakum's going downhill a little bit. The other guy pissed off from Limonum. So I believe it's autumn this month, this season. Okay, they finally decided to besiege this settlement. Um, 
I think we do reasonable against them, so of course we'll, we'll wait it out. That'll take five turns. So what's going wrong here? The public order went down significantly. So just pop that in there. That'll get back up to 75. Okay, so Sega. Let's have a look. Oh, well, what's that? It actually hasn't gone down at all. Because it was at 55 last turn. If anything, that increased uh, unrest. So, yeah, I'm, I'm calling bullshit. Same unrest. Calling bullshit. That one. There it is. You don't have the elephants, do you? Who's got the elephants? Oh, they're fucking in. I gave the, the elephants to the army that's fighting the, the shittest armies. Fucking armored elephants. They should be in Iberia now. They're all taking out his fucking Garama. Spending five... Nearly 6,000 a turn on these cunts. Expensive pieces of shit. Well, I mean, they're not pieces of shit, but goddamn, they're expensive. Just did it for the sake of it. I mean, we've got the money. They didn't go ahead with the attack again. Idiots. Guess what? You're fucking out of here. You'd be fucking kidding me. Doesn't really matter. I get a chance to replenish them. And that guy's out of here. And they I lifted the siege. Okay, we're gonna re retrain as many as- I can't believe they killed 700 of my guys. All the ones that are like 237, don't worry about them so much. Get rid of- we gotta retrain the ones that actually took a lot of damage. Retrain the other ones another time. So they completely failed there. They think they could pull on me what I do to them. No, I'm not that stupid. I know that that guy wasn't gonna reinforce. The only way they would have gotten away with that if I is if I just simply didn't notice. Okay, now we can probably take this onto you. Just auto resolve should be. Oh no, it won't. Now if they've got a general in there, do not do that. Okay. In the meantime, I guess you just wait at Aventicos until they starve it out. Maybe I'll just keep sending troops from Aventicos over to help. Oh, there's not that many people left here, so that was the last one. Should send them from Vienos, maybe. All right, yes, you Stratigos. could reach them. I need to have some better sight on what's going yes, on over here. Into yes, now I don't want them to actually be conquering any settlements. I just want them to go and kill shit. My lord, my lord, destroy them. Because we've got no governor. If we don't have a governor, it's not going to maintain. If it's yes, not going to maintain, what's the fucking point? Forward. No more moves, sir. So I think I think they are recruiting from here as well. well whatever the case is, we're going over there. We're going to put a stop to them. Yes, Destroy them. Shit, next season's winter. Well, whatever. It's too late now. What's done is done. It's not the end of the world. If I get, if I have to get there next spring, so be it. You're a piece of shit. You can come over here. Let's make the place look nice and tidy, though. So then, let's see. Well, let's go through the buildings and just build some stuff. Nothing here is really that important. Just build whatever you want. It doesn't make any difference. Oh, fuck. Actually, you know what? Why don't we just... I was just thinking, why don't I just fill the, the, the chain... The, the construction queue up. But that would cost a lot of money. Fuck it. I've got a lot of money. Anyway, if I need to recover some of the cash, I'll just come back to Damascus. 
Nazika's a huge city. Great. Needs um, anything I can do to improve the economy. Probably is unnecessary at this stage, but whatever. Just do it anyway. Makes me look powerful. Actually, no good with that. It's just a large city, so build. Oh no, get that going. Yeah, RP is a large city, it needs to grow, build a granary. Public order issues here. Let's just get that going. Actually, just chuck that in there. That'll only take it one turn. All right. Yeah. Just whatever. I'm gonna hurry this up and keep moving around. Get stuff done. Fuck my duck. Um, with that being said, we can't destroy it just yet. issues we don't know about that but 70% is not that bad anyway I've got that fixed up hang on center boom we need to recruit from yep good what's this and oh, that's this Jerusalem or wherever the fuck this is good extra law keep that okay so destroy this got a level 2 government building that's excellent keep that trying to see what else there is to do. They won't get there till next turn. The guys at Gagovia still have to wait there a few more turns. Same with these guys. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. Splitting the Oh shit, they were supposed to go back to um doesn't matter. We'll come back together. Yes, Stratigos. Forward! Moves depleted, sir! Okay, the public order here looks really good, so let's drop the taxes. I mean, the um, festivals, but I also need to get these guys yes, out of here as well. My Lord. Okay, I'd rather get them out and increase, increase that. It's a huge city, so now we can start lowering the population. Sir Jester. What should I do with these guys? I probably should just yes, disband them somewhere. Yes, Stratigos. Well, maybe I'll just send them north to go and die. Out of move, sir. Might be better off, because disbanding them anyway here is probably not a good idea. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. What I could do here... Yes, Stratigos. Sir, Marts. Yes, Stratigos. It's a little bit risky. Try 
I'll just leave one there. No, 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 I'll just recruit another. Send these guys to Kogovia. So they can maintain the public order. So these guys can move on. Maybe to defeat them. Maybe to go to Bibracte. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, it's pretty safe to say that at this point, we're, we're grander than the Roman Empire ever was. This is huge. We, we own like 80% of the territory that Rome had, plus like 120% more than that. All that being said, all the land out here that they didn't have, most of it is shit. Okay, I don't really see anything else that desperately needs to be done. So let's move on to the next turn. Oh, I forgot about them. No big deal. Ah, oh, damn it. Good thing we've got the other one besieging it as well. Oh, you're back again, are you? They'll find that there's, there's more guys here they have to contend with because of their stupidity. Not to mention they have to restart their siege again from scratch. Okay, let's begin this siege here in Lixus. I believe there's another settlement over here. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, it's winter, so we're almost at 2S. Yeah, they're definitely recruiting more troops. If they can have a full stack there, it's not going to stop me. They're just delaying the inevitable. Well, not even that, it's still going to be the same turn in which I crush them. Okay, let's see if... You guys can leave. No. He's providing too much public order. Can't leave just yet. I'll leave them outside there because they don't necessarily need someone babysitting them. But yeah, they can't leave yet. Actually, no. Don't do that. Keep the population high. You should go and like kill this guy. Or even better, why don't you kill all these guys here? But then again, that's a lot of them. You, your job is to like take out small groups. Destroy them. Like that'd be easy for you. Yeah, we've got to get rid of some of these guys here or else they'll feel like they can uh, Stop the siege. Now it doesn't really matter if they do, because it's just there to, you know, keep them, keep them from recruiting from that settlement. But that being said, if we can starve them out, that would be even better. They're getting absolutely raped. Oh, 
Yep, looks like they're... No, no, they still want to stand and fight. stuff. We lost one man, it was due to friendly fire, but that's still worth it. Well worth it. I was at 800 to 1 kill ratio. And I was responsible for all the deaths on that battlefield. Maybe you should also besiege a settlement. Because if they sally out, you'd be able to absolutely wreck them. Destroy them. Begin but you wouldn't be able to assault that. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do a very good job of it. Hmm. We've got siege equipment, don't we? What if we did assault? I mean, the guy here, he can make it. I'll think about it. Okay, so if you come here... Oh, right, you can't get in there. Let's see if we can move these guys out. Oh, he's in winter. I'm going to start to move out. Um, no, it's not enough. Alright, just keep them out. You stay there. And all that garrison there, it's just... the. The uh, administrators just provide such a big bonus. Get that in there. Is there anything here that we should destroy? No. What we really need to do is... Yeah, it's just public order, that's all. Just need to build shit. We could take this back. I mean, we were holding on to this without a governor. Actually, there was a governor in there. In there. Whatever. You go in there, take this, even despite not having a general. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be able to make it there this turn because of that. That's fine. Where'd the other one go? Yes, Stratigos. Marts. All right, looking good. Let's build some stuff, and then we'll probably end the video there. Bostra needs population growth. It's unlikely to have any corruption. So yeah, go ahead with that. So, Kydonia, whatever, it doesn't matter. Public order's fine. As long as the public order's fine, I'm fine with it. Lipke's looking good. Huge public order there.
Okay, let me just come back to Garima. Let me just see that again. Because that'll go down to 90. If we need to hire more garrison, we can always do that. My lord. So they're coming up here to also Move participate out. with the shit fest. Yes, Stratigos. They may or may not assault Vienos. Whatever, it's not going to save them in the long run, even if they do take it. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 185, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.